This is the Modular RE multi effects processor from Red Rock Sound. It's really like a 500 series lunchbox that contains a number of processors, six processors to be exact, that cover everything from saturation and distortion through compression and EQ. And they all mimic classic hardware. Now it loads five units at any one time, but it includes six processors that can be loaded into any of those slots. So by clicking on this drop down menu, we can see the six processors available to us. We've got a colorizer, which I suspect models different transformers. We've got a de -esser. compressor. There's actually two different types of compressor and two different kinds of EQ. So I'm gonna load the colorizer up. Let's load the de -esser up. Let's load the first compressor, the first EQ, and the next EQ. So that's one combination you could have. And then you can save this as a preset. As I said before, I believe the colorizer is modeling different transformers, perhaps different tubes, and it really adds saturation, distortion, and crunch in three intensities. So you can have soft, medium, and hard, and then you've got different models in a further drop down menu. Then you can click the whole thing in and out, and you've got an overall gain and a meter at the top. So very simple stuff. We've then got a de -esser. I think it's pretty obvious which company this is modeled from, but it doesn't just have to be used for DSing. Of course, this is essentially part of a multiband compressor, about everything from 600 Hertz to eight kilohertz. And then you've got a range control. You've then got some small tweakers with the ratio and intensity up here. And then we've got mode high frequency only or a fuller band model. And then the whole thing can be switched in and out and you'll see the gain reduction in this meter. So very useful stuff for taming sounds, making things less harsh. We've then got a compressor. I'm pretty sure I know who this is modeled on. Luckily, we've got a mix control, so we can do parallel compression right here. RMS and peak as well. And there's a cool makeup gain feature. Would have been nice to have seen a sidechain frequency in here, but honestly, it sounds really good. So I'm not going to grumble too much. Then we've got the two EQs. And this one's got a rock band, high frequency top end band. It allows you to add super high end to vocals or percussion uh, in a very convincing manner. And then you've got three other bands as well and the whole thing can be uh, pushed in and out. All of these units can be individually switched on and off. Then we've got a graphic EQ, which gives you loads of freedom and loads of sort of musical preset frequencies that you can adjust. And looking at the other compressor, this is just a slightly different compressor. Again, we've got wet dry mix attack release, ratio threshold and makeup gain and a slightly different meter. So this has definitely got a different sound to this compressor here. So if you want an alternative, you've got that. So two compressors, two EQs, and then two other bonus processors. I think you could build a really convincing channel strip in the modular RE. And we'll take a listen to this processing, some rough live acoustic drums in the next video. <laughs> 